We're here at Mac 2022. I'm on the horn stand. I'm going to be talking to Alex Brown about how, how there are so many options from horn cutting tools to replace your gear cutting machines. Alex, there are so many options for gear manufacturing, especially when you're a subcontractor and you've got different jobs coming in the door every day. How is someone going to try and replace a gear cutting machine? We offer many gear cutting processes now uh, to all of our customers with a range of machining capabilities from external gear milling, internal spline broaching, power gear skiving and uh, gear bevel machining. Shall we go and have a quick look because all of those are Obviously they're all very distinct processes and it's probably quite hard for some people who have just used a standard gear cutting machine uh, or a hobby machine to get their head around what options are available. Let's have a quick look at the, the first option you guys provide. Can we have a quick look at that? Go and get in there, Joe. So can you explain the gear skiving, please? So yeah, the, the products you're looking at now are our power gear skiving tooling. Um, this is one of the most newly developed horn tools um, for getting finished components off of mill turn machines um, in one operation. So why would someone want to start using tools like this and operations like this to replace those gear cut machines? Because those are specialist machines, they can probably do it fairly well, fairly accurately, fairly quick. What, you, what benefits can you get if you actually got rid of one of those and started using maybe gear skiving from horn? Essentially, we're trying to remove post-processing or secondary operations, uh, work in progress, etc. So the benefits of using many of the horn systems is getting finished components off of the machine in uh, one operation. Therefore, you're not having to have an operator run a secondary machine. Um, you're not having to have work in process led around the workshop. We look to get finished components off of the machine um, and then get them out the door. So it's all about reducing the complexity in that, oper in that operation process. Take an operation out. Like Joe, Joe was mentioning before, you've got no work in progress. So actually, hopefully, you can invoice quicker and get some more cash flow into the business. Yeah, I mean, in, in uh, engineering and other industries, time is money. So we're looking to save time, essentially. And the, the more cycle time we can reduce, the quicker we can get components out of the door for customers, the better for Horn and the better for our customers. So I've learned a lot already just talking to you off camera, Alex, because Horn are obviously, you have a lot of specialties, but one of your specialties is most definitely gear cutting. And you're explaining to me the gear skiving process requires um, very precise synchronicity between the spindle of your machine tool and the C axis of the machine tool, and also an accurate B axis for tilting over at that, that right, the correct angle. So what if someone, some subcontract machine shops, they can't afford a brand new uh, DMG Mori or a brand new Matsura, other machines that are available. What if they can't afford that machine? What other options are available for, say, an internal gear or an external gear? Can we have a quick look at what else you guys offer? Yes, yeah, certainly. So we offer a range of products to match the customer's requirements and machine capabilities. As you say, uh, skiving is quite an advanced technique. Um, so if you have got an internal or an external gear, we can do external gear milling, uh, single point. We can do internal gear broaching. So as you say, if, if you've got a... Um, you know, a five to ten year old uh, five axis, three axis or, or uh, a lathe, we can still uh, provide tooling to meet your requirements and you can produce both internal and external gear forms. So it's not like there are limitations as soon as you move away from one of these specialist machines. You just have to find the right application for the machine tool capabilities on your shop floor right now. Exactly, yeah. It, it, what, what we offer is a service to uh, meet the customer's needs and requirements. Um, and what we can do is we arrange a technical engineer such as myself or one of the application guys to go and visit on site. We can assess the machine capabilities, review the drawing of the customer's component and then align the correct tooling for the job to meet their requirements. Okay, so it's not just about the tools as well. Obviously, these are all very specialist tools that are very um, precisely, precise, precisely made and whatnot, but it's also about the service you get from Horn. Now, what about how many applications engineers have you got? Can someone who's not a Horn customer just call you up and say, look, I've got this gear cutting problem. Can we have a no obligation discussion to see what's possible? Yes, we, um, we've got about 20 guys on the road in the UK, sales and applications, all localised engineers from Scotland, Ireland, Wales, from the north to the south. Um, and we are open, open to be contacted by anybody um, with an inquiry or that requires information um, and we can arrange a visit to go in and assess their needs and offer them the best possible tool and solution for their particular application. So it's clear to me that these guys are the specialists. If you're trying to replace your gear cutting uh, machine, 
uh, not just gear skiving, but broaching, external milling. You guys do the whole lot. Um, they've got 20 sales engineers. Obviously, Alex is the specialist, but I'm sure the other guys probably know their stuff as well. So get in touch with Horn to replace that gear cutting machine.